from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Kansas City Royals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Almost ready to get underway. And starting in this one, Zach Greinke. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Ready to go now. Leading up now for Washington, Washington. Ildemaro Vargas. Ildemaro Vargas. The wide to kick the pitch. Next oh offering God. is outside. Singing, so you know, Zach Greinke, a guy that even while he's been playing, he likes scouting amateur talent in person and watching guys on video. Well, in the 2012 year when he was with Milwaukee, he went into their draft room and there was video on the screen of a certain player and he pointed at the screen Greinke did and said, that's the guy you should take with your first pick. He's the best player in the draft. And it turned out to be his future teammate, Corey Seager. Waters makes the grab and there's one down as we take a look at the Nationals lineup a guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus Alex call and Boog he's a fun at bat to watch I mean definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands but for me it's it's all about the mechanics they're so sound and when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing so much consistency that bat stays in the zone for a long time and he squares up the baseball a lot that one in for a strike, two and two. Goes down looking. And now it's Luis Garcia. Entered the day with the best batting average in the National League. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. And that's a two-bagger. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. Fifth in home runs in the National League right now. Witt over to first. And that is that. The one left for Washington. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. This is Washington Nationals baseball on the show Mid-Atlantic. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Out there to center. Thomas on his way over. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Not shortstop. And the right-hander deals. There's a strike. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Foul ball still, one and two count. Here comes a pitch. And now two and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the event fly ball to right no trouble here puts it away for the out two away down and next up for the Royals Vinny Pasquantino in the air out to center reaching for it and brings it in Royals go down one two three scoreless after one Top of the second is Chavis now. The left fielder, Michael. The pitch. Chavis. Hammered, and this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Now he launches a throw over his head. 
Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Alex Call digging in for the Nationals. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And here it comes. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Chavis around third to the plate. Save! And it's 1-0. Back-to-back -back base hits. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Dom Smith stands in. That one's in there, and it's one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And it's into the gap. Call around third. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. Not in time. He's safe. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Runner at third with one gone, and now the catcher comes up to him. Riley Adams. And a pitch. Base hit and a run in to score. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Pitch misses. Ball two. That's through there for a strike. Aside to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a guy out there coming at you with high velocity. Next pitch inside, and it's a full count. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, Boog. Lopez toss the second double play and that'll do it for the inning three runs for him here and they move ahead we go to the bottom of inning number two and welcome back bottom half of inning number two here's the left fielder Franmil Reyes two one pitches in there and the count is even as the game has moved along we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires i've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys nicknames hometowns and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit that's great the right view just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Reyes over at first with one away. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. 3-2. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. He's got it, and that is out number three. So one left for Kansas City. They trail in this one, 3-0. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, now batting Jamer Candelario. Two and one now. 
in there at the knees. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So up next, Luis Garcia doubled his first time up. On the ground, right side. Steps on first for the out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Joey Meneses. Next for the Nationals is the DH, Joey Meneses. 0 for 1 so far. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Hit weakly on the ground. Tosses to first. That's out number three. Three up, three down for Washington, but they lead it three nothing. Back here in Kansas City, set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the DH, Nick Prado. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes the catch for the out. Freddie Fermin steps in for the Royals. One down, base is empty. Base knock center field. So a man aboard now with one away. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it. Just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. Bounce to the right. And it gets by him. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Stepping in, Bobby Witt Jr. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. Pulls it in on the run. And there are two outs. Now batting. First baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. So first and second with two outs. So up now for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. He's 0 for 1. Next pitch just misses. Full count now. Fran Mil Reyes. Next up for Kansas City. Right side, Garcia. That is the inning. Back here at the ballpark, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Michael Chavis. Payoff pitch. Swings and misses, and that's the first out. Well, they didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. And that one is lifted in the air. Olivares sizing it up. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And the righty deals. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. Next pitch off the play. And now three and one. And he hits a ground ball right side. It's in and out of his glove. Singy, that was a close play, and it looks like they're considering challenging the safe call. Really close, Boo, and tough to tell in real time. We weren't sure, so you really can't blame them for wanting to take another look. Well, they are going to challenge the call, and so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Another look at it. 
Zinger, are you seeing enough to change the call? Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out and could be a good use of the challenge right here. Yeah, the batter now, Edward Olivares. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That one hammered center field. That's back there. And that one is gone. He blasts one out to center. His 12th of the season, and they cut into the lead. It's 3-1. jet stream on a line drive we saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders which is usually bad news and all of a sudden they're back in this ball game so one out nobody on here's the second baseman tyro estrada line drive he brings it down nice play timed it perfect it's hard i think for those guys in the corners because you know especially when it's a you know right-handed hitter for third baseman you don't see the ball all that well going through the zone and if it's a left-hander, you got a better shot at it because you can see the ball going through, see the contact. And so that jump isn't always on time. Sometimes it's a little early. Sometimes it's a little bit late. But that one was perfect. The one-two. In the air, center field. Thomas drifts towards it, makes the grab, and that's the inning. The Royals get one back on this solo homer. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Daniel Lynch. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality Lynch pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Number 52, Daniel. Lynch. And that is in for a strike, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Josh Stamont getting ready to go. Clark getting cranked up as well. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Kicks and deals. Ripped on the ground a second, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Here's the catcher, Riley Adams. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Strike two. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. So the lineup flips over. And now the shortstop, Ildemaro Vargas. A switch hitter batting right. That pitch in for a strike. One and two. One oh, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Next one is off the plate, and it's two and two. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a and welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So here's the Royals DH, Nick Prado. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Fouls it off, still one and two. Got him swinging. Freddie for me getting ready to hit. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Next offering is in for a strike. Come back to the mound. Sends it to first. Oh man for the fifth inning. Moving along. Two quick outs. Mickey Lopez up to the plate. And nope. it is two and one. Two balls, one strike. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. KC down in order, and they still trail it here, three to one. 
Back here at Kauffman Stadium, and now it's switch hitting third baseman Jamer Candelario. That one fouled off two and two. Well, these Nats really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Tosses to first, one up, one down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Luis Garcia. The 2 2. Hey. Struck him out looking. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside. And as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mitt, you think it's a ball off the plate away. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Makes the catch. And that is that. Bottom of the six. And to the plate for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. On a line, base hit. And now the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Drive. That's a base hit. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Handled that down and in breaking ball very well. I saw the break early coming from the other side and just let it get deep enough and drop the barrel on it at the very last moment. Racing makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. Two on, one out. And next up for the Royals, Edward Olivares. He's already homered in this game. Swings and misses. Two and two. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Rip to first, caught. Dives for the bag, got him. Double play. Royals leave one, and it remains a three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Josh Stamont. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And it's Michael Chavis at the plate. One for two. Next offering is in for a strike. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. In the dirt. Tosses to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence. And it's a multi-run home run. The 2-1. There's a strike. Action in the pen down there. Taylor Clark appears to be getting loose. And the pitch. That misses. Full count three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy now laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he Dominic earned that walk. Smith. One down. And now up for Washington, Dominic Smith. He's going. Run around the move. In the air, out towards right center. Waters settles underneath it and makes the grab. And there's two away. Here's Lane Thomas. Lane Thomas. Kicks and fires. And he walked him. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And that's outside. Looking for some insurance. 
or as our friends down in the south would say insurance no matter how you say it we know what you mean next offering upstairs two walks in the inning already and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them the three one in for a strike full count Line drive, base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores, and they take a three-run lead. So the batting order turns over. Ildemaro Vargas digging in for the Nationals. This one popped up. Witt has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that will end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now... We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Zach Britton. He last pitched two days ago. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Well, these Royals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Thomas moving under it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. The center fielder, number six. Drew Water stands in. And now the lefty. And that one clips the corner. Baseball runs of the family for Zach Britton. His brother Buck has been a minor league manager in the Orioles system since 2018. Fly ball down the line. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. Now that the designated hitter, Nick Prado. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Up the middle. Over to Smith, and that ends the inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Taylor Clark. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. That one to first. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. First out in the top of the eighth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. That one way outside. Two balls, two strikes. Bullpen activity starting up now. Josh Taylor getting loose out there. Out towards right center field. Olivares chasing after it. And he makes the grab. And there's two down. Now batting. Designated hitter. Two outs, base is empty. Manessis. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Joey Manessis. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. On, Throw to first. That completes the strikeout inning over. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tanner Rainey. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. Liner, base hit. Nicky Lopez now at the plate. One for three. Ground ball could be two. The throw to second is offline. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some 
Swings and misses. Struck him out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. And he deals. Lifted in the air. Right field. Call. Gets there. He's under it. Makes the grab. And there's two gone. So first and second with two outs. Franmil Reyes, the next to hit. Swing and a miss. One and two. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. Up now for Washington, Michael Chavis. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a base hit. Around first, heading for two. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now it's the right fielder. Alex Call. Three balls, two strikes to count. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three, two on the way. The other way. Olivares calls it in, and there's one away. Now back, the first baseman. Now it's Dominic Smith. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Left-hand hitter waits. And another ball. Line drive, base hit. Chavis coming home. Waters fires it to the plate, but it's offline. He will score. And they're up by four. Well done. Drives in the run. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And at first, next to hit for the Nats, Lane Thomas. At the belt and fires. That to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out. Number two. Now batting. The catcher. Riley. Riley Adams, Adams digging in for the Nationals. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Time call. The count two and one just missed. Fouls one away and now three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Right hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Olivares moving under it. 
makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Five, six, and seven will leave things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Nationals five, and the Royals one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Erasmo Ramirez. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Here's a one-two. Yeah, there's a ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled them with just enough of that late action. The 1-1. One, one. Hey! Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them.